Well, hey everybody, this is Gina B. Welcome back to my channel. Whew, it has been a little bit since I did a video. I think it's been like 10 or 11 days or something like that. Uh, but I have a good reason. Uh, my husband and I, uh, well, the house that we live in, um, the people that lived here before um, didn't really, um, they weren't kind to the house. They weren't, they didn't, um, they didn't share or they weren't familiar with, you know, like Marie Kondo's art of tidying up. Um, no, um, they didn't really take care of things. So there's a hallway, a long hallway throughout my house. Um, and it kind of, it's the, the hallway, the, each room in the house is attached to this hallway in some way. And uh, there was this nasty carpet along the hallway and I hated it. And I mean, I'm not a carpet girl. I don't like it. I don't like carpets at all. I wish everything could be either floating floor or floating like laminate floor or hardwood floor and no carpets. So my husband and I took on this endeavor, I, I mean, he is such, a, I mean, I am so lucky to have him, really, I am. Thank you, Lord, for my husband. Um, but, uh, so he, I painted, I painted a good portion of the walls, because it needed a, a new paint job, and uh, then he finished the painting. I still have some door casings to do, but I'm taking a break from that. Um, and he laid, he ripped up the old carpet, and he laid floating laminate floor down and it looks beautiful but it was a four day it was a four day um wow yeah whoo I was tired after that and my husband was exhausted and I felt so bad because it was you know it was it was a challenge it was definitely a challenge but it looks beautiful now and I'm happy that it's done and um and then you know it's just been one thing after another after that uh, but oh I miss you guys I miss you guys. I miss doing videos. So today I'm going to try to do two or three. The first one, this is uh, paper flowers. You And I'm going to show you how I make my paper flowers for journals. And you don't need a paper punch. And the, thing, the, the supplies and the things that I use are all things... Um, that you don't have to go out and purchase or and if you do they're very inexpensive and you can use them use some of these things over and over again um, for other projects okay so paper flowers I start off with I use um, this is just an example this is a um, a thicker kind of page in a flower and gardening um, magazine. It's um, so this is just an example. The first thing I do is here's some flowers. Um, the first thing I do is I take my homemade matte medium Mod Podge mixture and I use I put it in a cottage cheese container. Okay, so and, and I'm gonna tell you how I make this. It is so much cheaper than going out and buying matte medium and you can do all kinds of things with it. It takes the dull and shine down off off of just about any book page or any paper that you don't want to have the shine to and um, it's so much more inexpensive than paying for it out of the stores. This is what I do, okay? I use, yep, of course, did I bring that over? Of course not. Um, where is it? Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. I use so much of this that I buy it in the big jug, but you can buy them in the small buy it in the small bottles. It is Elmer's Glue All, okay? Extra strong formula, not the Elmer's School Glue. There's a difference. It's Elmer's Glue All, okay? 
and it um, so and I usually do I think it's three parts glue to one part water okay I mean you'll have to play with it a little bit to get the consistency that you want but I'm telling you I can buy that big huge jug of Elmer's ball at Lowe's or Home Depot and I usually look for it on sale and I can buy that big old jug for like 10 bucks and it lasts a long long time okay so then after you put your three parts glue to one part water in the container then I sometimes put in oh goodness where is it I sometimes and I always put in um, uh, something to color it okay you can use cheap or inexpensive regular acrylic paint at Walmart um, you can get I mean, you can get little bottles like this size or this size for you know anywhere from 55 cents to a dollar uh, each sometimes I also use I, I also put in Tim Holtz distress paint in a little bottle this one's antique bronze I've got vintage photo I've got something brushed silver or brushed pewter or something like that but I usually put in just a couple of drops to change the color but sometimes sometimes I don't put any paint in I like it just the clear because this will dry clear if you don't add anything to it and then I put then I put uh, I like to have a little shimmer so I get these LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with a little brush in it. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. That's where I get it. Dollar Tree uh, for a buck. And then um, it has a mica powder in it. So take the little tiny brush out. Okay. And then I usually just tap the sides to break it up and loosen it. And then I just turn it over and and you can see it on the surface okay and it, it's wonderful this stuff is wonderful okay <clears throat> then I take you know something whatever's closest and I take a stick or the end of the other end of a paintbrush an old paintbrush and I mix it in okay This particular one has, oh, I think this has a couple of drops, a couple of drops of the Tim Holtz Distress Paint in it, but again, sometimes I just use a couple of squirts of uh, like a burnt umber or, or sometimes I just use like a, a you know, if, if I want a different color, purple, pink, whatever, you know. Um, but I've used it. I've used either one of those, and um, they work great. They just work great. And and I've also noticed that using this instead of like Mod Podge, um, this doesn't make my papers or pages stick together like Mod Podge can do sometimes. And I really like that. Uh, that they don't stick together. This doesn't do that. So, anyhow, just a little, just a little, uh, just a little trick for you there. Um, okay, so I've got a brush here, soaking in water, and then um, basically I take my magazine page that I'm going to use. I mean, I and I use a lot. Of, I mean, I have ripped out and gone through hundreds of magazines. Um, and I just save the pages that I like, the, the, the textures on them, or the images, or the colors, or whatever. And I think, oh wow, you know, cut down, th those would make some really cool picture, uh, flowers. So, we're going to take a little bit of this, we're going to get a little bit of this, or maybe a lot, and just paint over 
the areas that you know you're going to cut up and use and make as flowers. Okay, so you just give it a really good coat. I mean, you don't have to be perfect about it, but a, a good, fairly good even coat, okay? And like I said, this is great about taking down the shine or the gloss on some magazine pages. And when you're all, when it's all said and done, huh, you would never know it that they were mag once magazine pages. But I like using things like that. Uh, and I've been doing this for a long time. I don't even remember where I learned this trick or this, or this, I, I just don't remember. I know I've, I've, I learned it and watched a tutorial um, on this a long time ago, like when I first started making junk journals. I don't remember where I learned this. So, um, sorry, I can't give credit where credit is due, and I usually try very hard to do that. Um, but I don't remember. It's been so long, I just don't remember. And I and I just kept, I mean, I just remembered it, you know, and I, and I still, I mean, I've been making junk journals for four years now, and I don't, um, I do not. I mean, I have a lot... I have a lot of things, you know. I mean, you build over time a lot of supplies and little little tools and stuff that um, you build in your arsenal, in your craft arsenal. That's what I call it. Um, but when I began, I had not, I had very little, you know, and I would get frustrated. I was like, oh wow, I love that tutorial and that looks great, but I don't have that and I don't have that, and it was very frustrating. But you know what? We all start somewhere and. I have flower punches. I have paper punchers, paper punches. But I still go back to this because I like this better. So, all right. So I'm, I'm I've painted over the area that I think I'm pretty I'm probably going to use. Okay. So there's that step. Okay. I'm going to just set this off to the side to dry. Okay. And then the next step is. I'm going to put this lid on this so it doesn't dry out. <clears throat> Take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Now, the next step is once you have uh, done the, mat, the homemade matte medium over the magazine pages, then I cut them down into squares. This one's I, I already prepped and did ahead of time. Okay, and I'm going to show you, I do it, us I usually make the flowers in layers. Okay, oh, where's my bag? Where's that bag? I'm going to show you some of the flowers that I've already made. I posted pictures, I don't know, five or six days ago on Instagram, and everybody loved them, and thought, oh yeah, that I would love, a, I'd love to see a tutorial, all right? All right, so here's just, you know, I made a bunch of them. Okay, so I'm going to just try to, my camera does not focus very well at all, okay? And so there's one. And there's a couple more. They get a little shimmer to them because at, towards the end of finishing, I use, my husband got the, these for me for Christmas last year in my stocking. Um, it's It was super cheap. I think he said he got them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but they were like a dollar a piece. Glitter glue, and they're different colors. Ice mint green, ice... Now see, again, you can buy this cheap glitter glue just about anywhere, okay? E even... They have stores, you know, even... <laughs> even if you're across the pond, so to speak. Um, super cheap, just basic, safe, non-toxic, washable glitter glue, okay? And I usually just brush a little bit of that onto the leaves and it makes them shine. Gosh, I hope you can see a little bit. Okay, so there's some of the flowers, okay? And a couple more. See, some of them I haven't finished yet. 
Okay, uh, let's turn these over. Like there's one I made out of book pages. Okay, <clears throat> so I think, I think you get the idea, so to speak. Oh, I like this one. I think I showed you that one already, but that one's got like a red tint to it. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in the bag. And not, I mean, so you can make them look similar to one another. Oh, I like that one too. I'd forgotten I made that one. Um, you can make them look similar, but none of them are ever going to be exactly. Each one is going to be a little different than the other. Okay? And I usually do them, in, like I said, in layers. I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you how I make them on a little bit larger scale than I usually do because I'm on camera, and I think it would be easier to do this. Okay, I'm just looking at the camera to make sure that I'm in frame. Okay, so the first step is, again, I've already painted, already painted the homemade matte medium on this page. And I usually do them in layers, three in threes, okay? Larger scale here. This one is a four inch by four inch square. And then you go smaller. This is a three and a half inch square. And then a smaller one, that's, uh, I think that's two and a half. Nope, that's three. So it's four, three and a half, and three, okay? But you can do, I think they look better when you do them in layers, but you can do any size you want. You can do it, go as small as you want. You can go as big as you want. Um, I was thinking that, like, oh, let me grab another one of those flowers. Uh, maybe, and it, this will kind of give you an idea, like uh, using like some coffee stained cardstock and you cut it down to, and make a pocket, you know, you can glue the flower down. Now see, because it's paper and it's thin paper, um, I use these little fasteners to go in the center for, as like the center of the flower and you can just pop a hole in and stick it down and then take a little piece of paper and something and cover the fastener on the back but you can make a pocket a really pretty pocket you know um anyhow all right let's 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 get to this so again you do them in layers uh, okay larger scale because i don't normally make them this big personal preference you can make them whatever way you want. Okay, so you fold the squares in half. Very important, very important to remember. I got a bone folder. Make sure the fold is really, really press down okay now you fold it in half then you take this corner right here where my thumb is poking at okay and you bring it to about a third of the way down to that side you bring that tip right to the, about a third of the way down Again, make sure that you have used your bone folder or something to press down that fold. Okay. Then you take this corner right here and you fold it over onto that. See, you take that corner and you fold it over that side. Again, make sure that you have pressed down your fold. Okay? Now you're left with that. Then you take the bottom part of this 
mm, kind of like triangle, okay? And you fold them over like this and make sure I'm going to do this one more time for you, so don't worry. Okay, and you make sure that they are folded up nicely, like flush with each other, okay? And you press it down. Okay, again, bone folder. Press. Get a little bit of a workout, but it's so worth it. Okay. Now, where's my scissors? Okay, this part right here, you don't need. You just cut it off. So now you're left with, I think, well, I think, I mean, I'm horrible at math, okay? I don't do numbers. Um, I think this is what they call, what do they call it? Like an isosceles triangle, okay? So there, there's that, okay? I'm going to press this side down just one more time. Okay. Now... I usually Lee I usually start I'm gonna cut and make these petals I usually go I'm gonna put this on from the bottom of this point I usually start cutting about a half an inch up and then I just kind of shape my petals whatever way I want Okay, and I cut in, oh goodness gracious me, okay, so you cut in, and then, and then you bring it right up to that point, okay, and then you open it up. And then, voila, you have a beautiful five-petal flower. Okay? There's one. Again, I'm going to show you again. I'll probably show you one more time because I'm, I'm doing this in layers of three. That's what I usually do. This is, I'm wondering if I can find, oh, that could work. You can't really see that well on that brown matte background. I'll lay this down up here. Okay. I'm hoping this is better. Okay, again. You fold your square in half. Bone folder. Make sure that it's really pressed down flat. Then you take this corner where I'm poking my thumb and you bring it over to a third of the way down that corner and you bring it right up to the edge and you press down. Okay. And you take this corner and fold it over this piece of paper right here. Okay. Again, you're left with that. Then you fold these together. Almost as if it's like, it's kind of like you're, to me it reminds me, it reminds me of when I was a kid and everybody made paper airplanes. It kind of reminds me of that, okay? But it's not an airplane. Okay, so we're going to press, press, and press. It's really important. I've made a lot of these, so... And then you cut off your tip or your top there because you don't need it. Okay, and then I usually 
whole sometimes this will shift over and you don't you really want to try not to let that happen so I usually hold these two points together here and then I start to cut like I said a half an inch up about a half an inch up and then Like I said, you can shape them any way you want. And then open it up. And you have a beautiful five petal flower. Or, yeah, five petal flower. I like this. I, I like this little tip right here. You can cut it off if you want to. I like it, but uh, so I leave it. But you don't have to have it. You can cut it right out part of the fold when you put it together and then again you have a five petal flower okay so one more time and then I'm going to put it put the flower together for you so you can see it or see how I'm put uh, how I put them together again fold the square in half bring this corner right here a third of the way down from the top, the other side, and press. Okay, and you take this corner right here and fold it over this piece right here. And press. And then Take those two sides and you fold them together and try really hard to make sure they're folded evenly together. And press. And you cut off the top. And you hold the Hold those two points together and you cut. And you curve it and do whatever you're going to do. See, sometimes they shift a little bit, but you can move them over. Okay, and then open it up. And no flower is going to look the same. And I love that. I love that no flower look. You can't make two identical. And, I, I mean, and, and what flower has identical petals? They don't. So I, I like that. Okay? So the next step is this. You got your flowers together. You spin them around. You arrange them where the way you think you're going to like them. Okay. Now this is th this magazine page is pretty dark. Although I like grunge, I like the darker colors. However, I'm going to mm, all right. I'm I'm going to set these off to the side because I did these earlier. I did this one earlier, off camera, but it's I, I it's the same process. Okay. This one's a little bit lighter. This was a piece of gel plate print that I didn't really like so much. Well, I wasn't, you know, it wasn't one of my favorites, but I thought, wow, you know, the, the marks, the little, the little bits from that came off the gel plate, I think it would make really pretty flowers. So that's what I did. Now this one I made four. I think this was four inches, three and a half inches, three inches, and I think this one was two and a half. But like I said, you can make them any size you want. I'm, I'm doing this one on a little bit larger scale than I usually do, so you can see them. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to distress the edges. Vintage photo, distress the edges. I hope, I'm going to probably watch this video afterwards to make sure that 
you could you can see it for the most part how I did it. Um, but I learned this a long time ago. Yeah, it was like yeah when I first started making junk journals, and it just kind of stuck with me. And again, you know, like I said, I, I I have paper punches, I have flower punches, not a lot of them, but I have them. But I still, and I, but I don't normally use them. I I I really like these. I really like these a lot. So I go back to them, and I usually make a bunch of them, and then sometimes I send a, a handful out with some other things. When I send out racks, I'm, I'm, I, I do that. I get in the mood once in a while, and all of a sudden I'll send out like five racks all over the world, like a couple in the United States, a couple in the UK. I think I sent, I sent one to Germany too. Germany, and then I sent one to... Let me see. I sent one to, I sent one to Hawaii. Um... Yeah, so I usually make up a bundle of them, a bunch of them, and then I don't have to sit down because it, you know, I usually like take a whole day and just make paper flowers, different colors, different shapes, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and here I am. I'm gonna distress the edges, and it does make a difference. I mean, it does make a difference. Wow, it's really. Let's see if I can turn that. Maybe this light is too much. It's too much. I wonder if that's better. That's better. I hope. Oh, why is this on? Just checking for the the uh, autofocus. Oh gosh, you know I, I that's the one thing I don't like about this webcam. I mean I'm th I'm I'm thankful that I can do videos, so I try not to complain. But it's one of the things I don't like about this webcam is that you can see no, it keeps doing that. I don't like it. Okay, um, you can. Uh, you know, you can set all your things, all the things that you want, you know, like autofocus on or off or, you know, white balance and tilt and all, all those, you know, things. And then you shut it down and then you go back to turn it back on and it goes back to default setting every time. I need to learn somehow or hopefully there's a way to just save your settings the way you put them. So you don't have to do it over and over again every time I do a video. Okay, so this is done. I've done enough. Okay. I'm supposed to, okay, I was gonna say I'm supposed to have four. Okay, so these are, let me see. These are like this, like that, like that like that. So we're going to just take the centers and glue them together. Little dab will do ya. Little dab of fabric tack will do ya. Alright, we're going to glue that like that. Okay, and we're going to situate it the way I want it. So the leaves are kind of evenly spread out. Okay. Oh, forgot to do something. That's right. Before I do it all, I usually um, take my fingers and fold, roll. I take my fingers and roll the petals so they're sticking up, and then the tips of them are pointing down. Okay. And then I take my fingers like this put my middle finger and my thumb underneath and my 
forefinger on top and I press and give and, and fold the petal so it has a little bit of texture or depth. Okay. I usually go around and do them all like that. Yeah. Okay. I do that side now. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so the next one's going to go on top like this. I think, I think, I think, nope, like that, yeah, like that. Oh, it feels so good to be here today. <laughs> See, it feels like it's been like a month since I've been in my craft room and, and, uh, been able to do a video but you know it was really important to do the floor and make my make part of my house a lot prettier and can't complain all right so then oh no nope. fold up my petals Gina fold up your petals Okay, and then the last one can go right by. <sighs> wow, Gina, wow. That was kind of a der moment. That's right. Let's press it down. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute and take. See? See, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. It only happens when I'm on camera. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to let that sit for a minute. Now, the next step is, um, again, I don't want to have to go out and buy a paper punch or a flower punch. I want to use what I already have. So for the centers of these flowers, I usually use a little bit of cheesecloth, coffee stain cheesecloth. I cut up a little, I cut out a little lace flower, and then I put those little long fasteners in to make like the center of the flower. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to let this sit for a minute. And I also like that these paper these paper flowers are not like um, they don't cause uh, they're they're pretty flat. <clears throat> they don't cause a lot of bulk in the journals, and I like that. So okay, we're gonna <clears throat> so on this one I use cheesecloth first, and then I cut out a little flower, cut out a little. Hmm, well, I wanted to do something a little different, so, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to cut off, this is a piece of just, <coughs> excuse me, okay, um, uh, I, this is just a piece of coffee stained, really pretty lace. <laughs> Seriously, people, I, I have so much lace, <laughs> like, <sighs> 
like you just I can't even explain it I just I I need to figure out oh oh I forgot to say mm. well I haven't I haven't really picked out all the things I'm going to use but I'm so close I mean I, I just went over 400 subscribers so a, a video I'm, I'm going to do a video like either today or tomorrow um, of what I'm going to do for a giveaway I think right now, I mean, the last time I checked, I was like at 400. I just reached 400 subscribers on my channel. So I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, but I haven't put everything together. I'm, go I'm probably going to... <sighs> part of me wants to just put together and make a, like a, a small journal as a giveaway. But then another part of me wants to... Another part of me wants to just do like a little goodie box, a little goodie box with all kinds of little stuff, like maybe, maybe a um, surprise thing of um, acrylic stamps or maybe a couple yards of really pretty lace. Um, that's probably one of the things that's going to be in there because I've got so much lace. Guys, I, I, I don't, I'm never going to use it all in my life. Um, um, and then... I don't know. Um, I've been making some Franken pages, you know, like um, Nick the Booksmith started, I don't even know, it's probably two years, two years ago now, but um, so I've been making Franken pages with all my scraps and so I thought maybe I'll put in a couple or three uh, Franken pages with my scraps and, and just make like a big goodie box of all kinds of little things, cool things, you know, everything from stamp, you know, maybe a set of stamps or um, lace and that, you know, embellishments that I've already made that I've got a lot of. Anyhow, um, I'm still thinking about it, but, mm. okay, so I cut this little flower piece out of this lace, okay, and then Um, I'm going to put a piece of cheesecloth. I want some cheesecloth. I do, I do. So, I would love it if y'all would just mm, give me some, some suggestions. I mean, I don't know. Should I make a journal? Or, I don't know. I, I just, part of me just wants to make like a goodie box. of All kinds of little things, not just a journal. I mean, not, not a journal, but like just goodies, like a bunch of little prizes, you know, because uh, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond blown away at the fact that <laughs> I have 400 subscribers, like, wow, really? I, I, I can't believe that 400 of you want to watch me do videos, but I'm grateful. I am so grateful and I am so, I mean, I thank God. I do. I thank God for you, all of you, um, because it has changed my life in a, in a very, very positive way. Okay, so there's, um, mm, no, before I do that, before I put that on, like I said, I'm going to take my little paintbrush. I have a bunch of paintbrushes. This one's like an old one that I don't really use very often, um, but it's got a small enough tip on it, so... All right, so there's some green in here and some orange. I don't have an orange, but I do have a green glitter glue, ice mint green. So I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Whoops, I'm going to do it off camera so you don't feel like you're going to throw up. Um, and then there we go. Take a little bit of that glitter glue and just kind of lightly... Put it onto the leaves. It just, once it dries, it just looks so cool. It really does. I don't put a lot on, just, you know, a couple leaves have a little bit more than others. Just a hint, just a hint of like, almost like dew. Morning dew. Not mountain dew, morning dew. Um,
Yeah, a couple have more than others, but oh, I just I just love the way it looks. You see, this is a pretty dark petal, so I'm going to put probably a lot more over there to make it kind of pop. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to put a little bit right there and a little bit right there. Okay, so th so you have the idea there. Okay, now that that's done. Now, I'm going to first, I'm going to put some glue on the back of this flower or the center. A dollop. Huh, a dollop. Okay, and I'm going to press it over on here. Pull it out, stretch it out a little bit. Okay, and then Okay, so, and then, I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. I think there's a flower. There's my bag of flowers. Oh my goodness. Where are my flowers? Where's my flowers? What did I do with them? Okay. I was pretty sure that there was a flower down the center too. So you don't have to wait because I, I usually let the flower flower I usually let the glue dry before oh here's one I did instead of the I did a button in the center I didn't put any glitter stuff on those but um, I don't know there it is I don't know Okay, well, I'm going to just kind of show you on this one without, because I can take it out. I'm just not, I'm going to make sure I don't. All right, so just picture the, the, the flower, the, the lace flower and the cheesecloth in the center of this, okay? And then I just take a pokey tool, okay? And right in the center, I go like this and make a hole. poke it through enough, big enough. Where's my things? Hmm, where's my things? And I just, um, I think they're called long fasteners, aren't they? Fasteners, long fasteners, paper fasteners. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. So I've got a, a variety of colors here, that gold and like a copper and then a silver or pewter. Uh, and then, uh, brass, like a dark brass, brownie brown brass. So we're going to do, um, I'm just going to do the gold so you can, because you can see it better. Okay, so then, like I said, and that picture that the, the got, um, cheesecloth and the lace flowers already there in the center. So you just, and then you put this fastener in to the center. Yep. Again, it it only happens when I'm on camera. Um, then you go like this. Oh, why can't? Okay, so we're gonna spin this around. So you put the fastener in, and then when you're ready. Okay, so. Um, Pretend like this is the pocket that you're going to make, okay? Where's that? Yeah. Pretend like this is the pocket. So you then you make the hole. You make the hole. 
<sighs> I know you're all laughing right now. Um, and then you put the fastener in like this to the other side, okay? So, and then you pull it down. And then you take a piece of paper, you know, and you just, once it's, once the other side of the fastener is flattened down, okay, you just put, take a piece of paper and glue it over so it, it protects whatever it is you're going to tuck into that pocket from catching on the back of that fastener. Okay, so, but, but I think you get the idea. Um, and I think that's it. I hope, I hope, I hope, I'm going to, oh, that's said enough. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make, okay, I really want to show you what it looks like. I think, yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull apart those, okay. Okay, I'm going to stick this right in the center of that flower. Oh, that, see, I like that. Okay, so I'm not going to flatten it completely because I'm not ready to put it on to anything. But there. I think you have a better idea now. I hope that you could see it at least clear enough to, but see, I love that. Don't you love those? I think they're beautiful. I just think they're beautiful. And again, you can make the petals. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick. Where's the, you can make, I'm, all right, I've already showed you how to do, uh, how to put the, to make the petals, okay? But I'm gonna show you how you can, uh, I'm gonna show you visually how you can make the petals look whatever way you want. You don't have to make them pointy like I, I mean, duh. that's the way I usually do them because I, I like the way they look. But you can make round petals, you can important Gina flatten it that's important okay so we're gonna bring these together again and we're gonna cut off the top Like I said, now you can do it differently. I'm going to go up a little bit more than a half an inch because I'm going to try to make these petals a little different, more round. Okay, let's see what they look like. See? You can make them round. They don't have to be, they don't have to be, they don't have to be pointed. You can just play. I mean, and, and that's what I did when I first started making them. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can make these petals whatever shape I want. I can make them pointy. I can make them round. I can make them you know, like, look like, almost like hearts, you know? And then, and then when you're done, when you open them up and you're like, mm, well, I really wish it could be a little bit more narrow there at the sides. So cut them. There's no rules. There's no rules.
Okay, I mean, and you can make them almost look, they, they almost look like hearts. So I think you get the idea. Just play around with it. It's so much fun. I mean, well, I thought it was, I think it's fun. Um, and again, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this for four years now, making journals for four years. And I still go back to this because I like the way it looks and it's, it's more homemade and I'm all about homemade. I, I, you know, uh, I, most of, I mean, for the longest time, I, I loved making food at home and doing homemade goods and baked goods. I used to sell, um, I used to sell pies and goodies at uh, farmer's market along with um, along with my crafts and I did that for years. I, I, I'm just a homemade kind of girl. I don't, uh, so give it a shot if you have any questions. If there's something, I mean I'm going to check out this video <clears throat> and make sure that it, you can at least see for the most part what I've done. But if you have any questions um, if I didn't explain something properly, please let me know. I'm, I'm not going to take offense to it. I, I want to I want to inspire you to try things and to use things that you already have at home so you don't have to go out and spend more money. Because I remember. I remember how it was in the beginning. And I got so frustrated and discouraged and I thought, oh, I can't afford to buy that or I can't do that. Uh, well, you know what? There's a lot I wish that I knew back then that I know now. And I, I know that's kind of cliche, but it's the truth. There's so much, so much I wish I had known then that I that I know now. Um, but uh, so yeah, there's my paper flower. I hope you like it. Uh, again, give it a shot. Leave me a message below. Please, please, if you like my videos and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up click on subscribe. Um, I'm going to, I'm really, I'm so close to, I, I know I'm over 400 subscribers now, so I'm, look out either today or tomorrow. I, I'm going to be diligent about this. I'm going to do a video on a giveaway and show you the things that are, that are going to be in the giveaway. Um, so stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.